if we look at this from a superior view, we have a really nice view of the middle ear right here. In fact, this is the tympanic cavity that we're looking at right here. When I remove this, this is your tympanic membrane, your eardrum. Of course, you're looking at the lateral side of it here. If I turn this over and you see the medial side, you can now also see two of the three bones that we have here. This is malleus, the mallet. This is incus, the anvil. Think of a hammer hitting an anvil, in case you're a blacksmith or something uh, from the olden days. Here's a malleus, incus, and the tip of incus right there is going to articulate or touch with this spot right here on the bone stapes. Stapes is the stirrup. And stapes sits right on top of the oval window. Again, you cannot see it here because it's hidden underneath, but oval window is right here, which is a structure that we find on this right here. This area is what we call the vestibule. This is the vestibule of the inner ear. What I'm pointing at right now are the semicircular canals. There are three semicircular canals. And what we also have here is the cochlea or the snail shell. So the cochlea, the vestibule, the semicircular canals, on the bottom of the vestibule there, right here on this model actually, you can see the round window. Again, oval window would be underneath here. And on this model, if I take the cochlea apart, you can actually see the different ducts that run through here. And now what I'm holding is part of cranial nerve number eight that goes to the cochlea. This is the cochlear branch. This has been cut off right here. This actually would extend just a little bit into the vestibule. This would be the vestibular branch. So we have the cochlear branch of cranial nerve number eight. We have the vestibular branch of cranial nerve number eight. Together we call them the vestibulocochlear nerves. Cochlear branch, vestibular branch, vestibulocochlear nerve.